Dan even mensen, welkom terug op mijn kanaal. Ik ben Kaja Sukra. In deze video ga ik het hebben over de essentie van het boek The Richest Man in Babylon. Laten we meteen beginnen. Part of all you earn is yours to keep. It should be not less than a tenth, no matter how little you earn. It can be as much more as you can afford. Pay yourself first. Well, it's like a tree grows from a tiny seed. The first copper you save is the seed from which your tree of wealth shall grow. The sooner you plant that seed, the sooner shall the tree grow. And the more faithfully you nourish and water the tree with consistent savings, the sooner may you bask in contentment beneath its shade. The first cure for a lean purse, start thy purse to fattening. The second cure, control thy expenditures. That what each of us calls our necessary expenses will always grow to equal our incomes unless we protest to the contrary. Third cure, make thy gold or money multiply. To put each coin to laboring that it may reproduce its kind even as the flocks of the field and help bring to the income a stream of wealth that shall flow constantly into thy purse. The fourth cure, guard thy treasures from loss and of great importance if it prevents thy purse from being emptied once it has become well filled. Guard thy treasures from loss by investing only where thy principle is safe, where it may be reclaimed if desirable, and where thou will not fail to collect a fair rental. Consult with wise people, secure the advice of those experienced in the profitable handling of gold, let their wisdom protect thy treasure from unsafe investments. The fifth cure, make of thy dwelling a profitable investment, thus come many blessings to the man who owns his own house, and greatly will it reduce his cost of living, making available more of his earnings for pleasures and the gratification of his desires. This then is the fifth cure for a lean purse, own thy own home. The sixth cure, ensure a future income, provide in advance for the needs of thy growing age and the protection of thy family. The seventh cure, increase thy ability to earn, preceding accomplishment must be desire. Thy desires must be strong and definite, so you must pay your debts with all the promptness within your power not purchasing that for which you are unable to pay. You must take care of your family that they may think and speak well of you. You must make a will of record that in case the gods call you, proper and honorable division of your property be accomplished. You must have compassion upon those who are injured and smitten by misfortune and aid them within reasonable limits. You must do deeds of thoughtfulness to those dear to you. Thus, the seventh and last remedy for a lean purse is to cultivate thy own powers, to study and become wiser, to become more skillful, to so act as to respect thyself. Thereby shall thou acquire confidence in thyself to achieve thy carefully considered desires. People of action are favored by the goddess of good luck. Better a little caution than a great regret. We cannot afford to be without adequate protection. Where the determination is, the way can be found. And that was it now for this video. Bedankt voor het willen kijken. Ik ben Kaja Sukra. Abonneer je alsjeblieft op mijn kanaal. Tot de volgende keer. Groetjes.